Hey, what is up, guys? Instagram here with another video. Today, we will be making a video on how to make a channel art like so. Um, we will be customizing it a bit differently, and you can do whatever you want to it, but we're just going to have a simple layout like this. So, uh, you want to go into Photoshop, which is the program we'll be using today. Um, go to File, New, Title, whatever you want. We'll just do Channel Art tutorial. Um, width is 2560 in pixels and height is 423 in pixels. Resolution, um, I usually set it just at 100 and your background contents transparent. So you now you press OK and then now you want to first go into the text thing and type whatever you want. So we'll be doing in seeking HD but we will we already have I already have a text oops. I already have a text that I want. So I'm just gonna drag and drop that into here. Um if I know where it is. Documents. Okay. And then I'll drag and drop this. You can just drag and drop it into here. Or you can just go to file open and then find it that way. So we'll make it to our liking size. Alright, I think that looks good. Um, so this is a 3D rendered um, name, 3D rendered text of my name in Sigma HD. And this is done in Photoshop, which is the 3D icon right here. You just put your text in and do the 3D icon. So now you want to get a background, which there are many backgrounds that you can use, but today we will just be using a simple mountain, I could, you could say. Um, we will be using one of, one of these ash photos. So, I'll show you guys what, this, what I usually do with it. I'll just open it quick. I, I will usually like put the mountains in the background and not have her body in the way. So we'll drag and drop that in, and you want to make sure you go into layers. You want to make sure that's the very bottom. The oh, I gotta make this a bit bigger. But you want to make sure that your your background is the very is at the very bottom. I kind of like that, so we'll use that like that. And then you want to make sure after you place it. You want to make sure that this is all the way, all the way at the bottom. So just drag it down to the bottom, and then we'll we'll keep working on the background quick. So then you want to go to filter, blur. You can use any of these blurs. I usually use motion blur or box blur. So we'll use box blur in here, and then I usually set because you can preview it down here on the back. So let's I'll go to one. And then it changes. Two, change, three, five, six. I think eight will be good. So we'll use eight. And then, oops. Now, what you want to do is you can go into your um, your text, um, go right click it, and click blending options. Let's try this over here. Um, and I usually like to do a outer glow. Um, turn the opacity down a lot, and put the size up, and then some of the noise, which looks really good like that. Okay, we'll use that like that. that. Looks pretty good. And then now we can get a a skin pose does not seem like I have it on it now. So for that, for the skin pose, you want to go just search up Nova Skin. Let that load. Um, and it's Minecraft.NovaSkin.me. That'll be in the link. Will be for that. It'll be in the description. Um, so you can get your skin. Um, whatever whatever pose you want. So we'll search up Instagemon MC. It's 
slow right now. I'll search up that and see what I'm seeing. So then we'll click on my skin. If it doesn't show, you can always go to mcskinsearch.com and then you can get your skin off that. And then you press open up here and you just put your skin in there. Like that. And then now we want to go to pose. And we can really just do any pose. I'll just do one of the default poses so I don't have to mess around with it or anything. So now you want to click save or or you can press photo. But make sure you don't have those lines. Like those lines, you don't want those. So I'll just click photo. And then you want to right click it, save image as. Hmm. Alright, there, save your image as. And then we'll just save it in here. We'll do RG skin. So now that's saved. Once you see that icon, you can see it saved. And then you could just drag this icon into Photoshop like that and drag it in there. Okay. So now that we got our skin in here, I'm going to resize it. I'm gonna resize it like this. Tilt it a bit. Size it down. Alright, and then I think that looks good right there. So then we can drag this underneath, underneath the text. So it's behind it. And then we're gonna click the erase tool. See, yeah, we'll click the erase tool. And then we're gonna click if you see this little the mouse cursor you just click and you can rasterize the smart object and now you can erase it and everything so now it's all gone <laughs> undo that and then you want to make the size a bit bigger so and then you slowly just go around and make it fade which you can see that's what I did for my for my channel um channel art so now that's a bit faded out we can right click that for blending options and then I'll just put a stroke on it usually that's what I usually that's what I'll usually do actually with the eraser you can't put a stroke on it so we'll we'll do that without the eraser set backwards set backwards Okay, so now you want to well, right click it. We'll just do the simple way of not doing the fading. It, fading. So now you want to do the stroke and you want to turn it all the way down since it is fragile. Not fragile, but it's different. Um, we can actually do two, I guess. So, and then you want to, we'll do outer glow also. Turn the size up to about there. Opacity down. Noise up. Just like that, that looks good. So then you click OK, and then we can go back into Nova Skin, X out of that one, and then we can just do another random. We can do another random skin pose. So then you want to click Photo again, um, right click, save, right click, save my jazz. Um, yeah, I'll just save it here also. IG skin 2 so now that you have that you wanna take it so you're so just hold on to the photo drag it into Photoshop like we did for the last one and when you see these boxes around it you know that you can just drop it in and it'll be good so we'll put it in like that we're gonna rasterize the object and then you're going to go to blending options and we'll click stroke put that down to 2 I guess let me see how it looks 2? ok 2 looks good and then we'll do the outer glow or you can do this, you can click, right click it copy layer style click on your second one and then you do paste layer style and it'll do the exact same thing as this so now that you did that, we'll actually move it over. Oh, not that. We'll move 
we'll click on the skin and we'll move it over a bit so now that it looks like that which I think that is looking pretty darn good guys we'll have it even with that so now that we have that we are just about done um, but I'm going to add one more text thing down here put the size way down and we'll type Insta gaming, whatever you guys want to text it there and want to type as a subtitle you don't have to do it but I'm just going to do it so I can show you another effect tutorials and and more summation so now I'm going to drag that down a lot and then we'll put that wherever the center it is okay so now we have that right there and I'm actually going to drag it down a bit so about right there we'll click on the text thing again um, we'll make it red I guess no you can change whatever color you can make it whatever color you want I'll just do let's just do a black I guess black would be good so then you want to right click we can do blending options um, gradient we'll do that one and where is it where is it where is it gradient overlay pattern overlay we can no 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 not pattern overlay it's texture so you can do the texture they can choose what texture you want they all are different I'll just choose that one so now we're actually gonna resize it so it, the text is a bit bigger like right there I do not know where the alright there's the center and then you're pretty much done right about there guys so now what you want to do is save it you go to file save as and then you can save it wherever you want we'll just save it in here channel art tutorial keep that we'll save the PSD um, one so you can edit it first we'll save that first and then you want to go file save as again alright sorry I thought to save alright file save as again and save it as a JPEG and keep the same name and then we'll save it in that same file so now that we saved that well, we did that and then we can go to youtube.com slash your channel name let it load and then you want to click you want to click right here this little pencil and then go down it's the second one which will be edit channel art and you want to do upload it upload photos select from your computer or you can or you can do it this way or you can go in here and just drag it in like that let it load oh sorry guys one sec just gotta and then, actually you guys will have to do this edit image canvas size not image size canvas size pixels and then 1440 okay and now you're done about there well let's keep it like that um, and then edit save as channel art tutorial JPEG again just replace that file since you didn't have the right dimensions um, and then select from your computer we'll do the same photo and this time it will upload as recommended channel it says 2560 by 1440 which is what we have right now and then you want to adjust the crop and you can just make it to your liking I think it, it's good right there and then you save it and there that's what you get guys 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, remember to smack the like button. You can customize this to your liking. You can do anything with it. Um, but this was just a simple channel art that looks pretty cool. Um, so I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, remember to smack the like button. Helps the channel a lot. Now that we're partnered with Freedom, you guys just help me a lot with uh, help me out with everything with them. They are awesome. You are awesome. Peace out.